10 News reporter Jessica Chan is in Point Loma, where Stone Brewing has been forced to scale back. Well, right now, crews are moving chairs. They're clearing this whole area for tonight. Now, Stone Brewing tells me they typically sell about 1,000 New Year's Eve tickets every year, but this year, only about half, and that's because they had to close off their whole outdoor area because of the rain. With just hours to go before the New Year's Eve countdown, it's busy at Stone Brewery in Point Loma. They're setting up lighting right now. There's lighting already set up right here. Mason Keeling, who manages the brewery, says there's a lot to prep for. The sound and the lights. But the pressure mounting because the original plan has fallen through. We had to move our cigar lounge, which was going to be out in theater bar, to our little breezeway um, in here. And that's because the New Year's Eve rain has cut their venue in half. So normally we'd have twice the amount of space that we're going to have tonight. Not only that, but being able to get fresh air um, while you're mingling and having drinks and eating is also a nice option which unfortunately everyone's going to be under the roof. In the past, over 1,000 guests were invited. This year, about 500 in order to fit them all inside. At the end of the day, it's a bummer for us just because it's half the amount of ticket sales. Audrey Zhao, who is celebrating the countdown at the brewery, says she's bummed. I'm a little bummed to see the weather like this. But Keeling says he's confident guests will still have a great time. I don't think it'll affect the guest experience at all. So if, if we felt that it would, then we wouldn't be holding the event at all. Audrey says it's all about perspective. You know, hang out with our friends, and it's really about the people and not the place. So I think we're going to have a good time no matter what. The manager tells me they initially hired about 200 staff members to work tonight's event, but because they only expect half the number of guests, they are only going to have about 100 workers tonight. In Point Loma, Jessica Chen, 10 News.